There were once millions of farms in this country producing chickens. Every farm had a small flock. That's all gone away. After almost two years of research, we were very disturbed to find that there really is a uh, corporate agribusiness factory farm takeover of the organic egg industry well underway. The large corporate egg operations now control 80% of the organic market. They're paying lip service to the organic standards. For instance, aviaries with as many as 35,000 hens, wall to wall, floor to ceiling. We visited one farm that had two buildings with approximately 15,000 birds per building with one two foot by two foot door. And even though the organic standards, the federal law requires access to outdoors for organic livestock, including chickens, some of these buildings provide either no access whatsoever or minute porches, 30, 40, 50, 80,000 birds that have quote, access to these small screened in porches. They're missing this outdoor opportunity. And they're missing a lot of the nutrients they get by foraging, the pecking behavior, eating insects, eating grass, foraging for seeds. Many of these larger producers who have no outdoor access for their animals claim their birds don't want to go outside. There's a reason that these birds don't go outside. They weren't let out when they were young. There's very inhospitable conditions, inadequate doors. It's a specious argument to suggest their birds don't want to go out. And it's placing family scale farmers who are abiding by the standards at a competitive disadvantage. I know the minimum standards are a foot and a half per chicken, but ours definitely have more space than that. The gold standard in organic production is the pastured poultry producers who either have mobile housing that they rotate in the pasture so the birds can be on a fresh piece of grass periodically or they have a fixed coop but have a lot of land available where they rotate the birds to different sections allow the grass to rest and regrow and these birds are producing eggs that are nutritionally superior in terms of flavor they're certainly superior these folks deserve to be rewarded in the marketplace, and we hope that the organic egg scorecard that we produced will help consumers make discerning marketplace decisions. Besides your grocery store and besides your local food co-op, one place to find those eggs would be your farmer's market. <laughs> well, today we have 60 dozen, and they will go fast. We wish we had more in, in that respect, but we, we have raised more chickens in the past and found that 200 to 220, we found to be a good amount of chickens for the area that we have for them. It was 425 each. All right. We always buy always. eggs from Green Farm. They're the best, aren't they? They yes. taste the best. We want happy chicken. That's important to us. We know why consumers first come to organic food. It's families, especially with children, who want the safest and most nutritious food on their tables. They're supporting a different kind of environmental ethic, a more humane animal husbandry model, and they think that one of the reasons the prices for organics is higher is that family farmers are being treated with respect. So when consumers find out that their eggs are coming from hen houses with 80,000 birds that never see the light of day. They feel betrayed. We hope consumers will visit the Cornucopia Institute website, download a free copy of the report Scrambled Eggs, take a look at that scorecard, and make sure that you're buying the right brands and rewarding the right companies and the right farmers. It is maintaining the integrity of the organic label and the trust of the organic consumer that this report is all about.